Okay, I might need more lights here, but uh, cartwheel, I just shoved a nail in. They say not to do this, but, you know, do you have a cutter pin handy when your wheel breaks? So, yank it out. This is the good side. <laughs> Left side is the good side. The whole cart has to come apart. Up. Hopefully that's still lined up. I did try to shove some other crap in there. Anyway. Come out there. Oh, let me get my persuasion. Anything that doesn't work, hit it with a hammer. Ain't gonna be more broke. So I'm going to have to get some sandpaper and widen this out. Here's what I did in the meantime trying to help. I took a piece of pipe. And kind of just made flanges. But it didn't work for beans. It didn't work for beans. Because they fell apart. Anyway, not enough pressure to keep them from sliding back and forth. This should have worked, but I probably needed glue or something. And it's all greasy crap, so. Yeah, use a towel. I'm moving up and down is just to keep it from being crooked. Let's move head out of here. There you go. I'm not going to put those back on. I'm going to put on these. It's still tight though. Well, let's fix that. Let me try one of the others. Maybe they're a little better. No, they're all the same, of course. Now, if I had a lathe, I think I'd uh, turn five ten thousandths off of there at the moment. But I don't have a lathe. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to get. Okay, I got these down to where the outsides fit. Now, uh, I was hoping these would be tight, and they ain't. I did measure it all before. They're exactly one on the inside here, deep enough, but they ain't gonna jam in. So, I've done this before. This seems like cheating to some people, but this probably will actually work. Take a piece of electrical tape, and all you do is wrap it around there. Get cold out here. Let's stick it. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Since this part don't move, well, yeah, it's a little. I'm gonna have to trim the edges. I have to put another wrap. Oddly enough, it ain't gonna matter if this much moves much anyway. But uh, you know, this is much less likely to come off than you think. Even though this is a beat thing. Yeah, because as soon as it's tight, it ain't going to be moving much. It'll be free to move, but it ain't going to move. So, there. That's pretty good. Get a knife. And yeah, trim any extras. That's got to shit. If you're going to do it, might as well do it right. The reason this works is uh, it's rubber and therefore it compresses so you can put it in there extra big and in a pinch you know it ain't machinist work. I suppose if you had some uh, stock you could turn this perfect. It ain't flat where it's sitting on the inside of this anyway because the other side of the bearing race is in there in in here it's not level it is about one inch though probably a few thousandths difference that's still tight yeah it's still tight and it's just get in there nice and hard it ain't gonna come out much unless you want it to let's do the other side Excuse for everything. Just because it's dog shit don't mean you can work on it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying crusty stuff. But the neighbor dog does come over in my yard. Leave me a little surprises. Okay. Yeah, trim it. Oh, test it. Yes, yeah, to loose. It's always bigger. <laughs> yeah, I keep fitting it. Have a heart attack. This will fail eventually, but it's better than cutting copper pipe up, I guess. I'm just kind of hoping this will be tighter. I can hammer it in tight, tight. I suppose you can show it with a piece of metal to hammer it.
it's not too wide. <coughs> Get it on the <laughs> Just get her done. Somebody said that. Spins good. Now they need to be thinner. <laughs> when you really need a lathe. 